Welcome, welcome to this amazing yoga. Um, the, me the beautiful thing about this yoga that we're doing today is that you do not need a yoga mat because today we're going to be doing a really gentle, easy flow that's going to be great for beginners. And this is just going to help energize the body, stretch your body. We're doing less strengthening, but more stretching today. Okay, so more releasing any of that tight pent up energy. We're going to be doing some breathing. And this is really just to get into our own harmonic balance, right? Our own energy space. Okay, so let's begin seated. Okay, so find that comfortable seat wherever you are. And let's just begin to breathe, yogis. All right, so let's just take a nice deep breath in. Open the mouth and just exhale it out. Let it go. Exhale. Let's do two more times just like that. All right. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Open the mouth. Good. Deep inhale one more time. Good. Good. Good, and just kind of settling into your own breath and your own energy, we're just gonna roll out the neck any way that feels good. All right, roll it out. Okay, so I wanna say that, you know what, good job for being here, right? Really good job for being here, right? This is you prioritizing your energy. This is you prioritizing your physical well-being, your mental well-being. So really good job, give yourself some amazing credit. All right, bring the chin toward the chest and just toggle the head left and right, just kind of shaking out, just releasing any tension in the back of the neck. Good, and then bring the head back to center. We're gonna gaze all the way over the right side. And then let's gaze all the way over the left side. Good, maybe do one more round going left and right. Good, and then let's gaze up to the sky, drop the head back. All right, let the head drop back as you breathe in, deep breath in, open the mouth, and then wiggle the jaw left and right. Uh, <laughs> right, good. Good, and then from here, let's reach the arms up overhead. Good, interlace the fingers and flip the palms up above you. And we're just gonna reach side to side, left and right. Left and right here, good. Beautiful, let's take another round or two. Just going left and right. Good. And then let's drop the hands down here. Good. We're going to press the hands into the mat or the floor and just lift up through the chest. Let the head drop back. Feel the shoulders pulling down away from the ears. All right. Good. Good. And then what we're going to do, yogis, is let's take Let's take the right leg, we're gonna take it behind the back. Okay, so both knees are bent, and we're gonna twist to the left, twisting toward where the knees are bending. This should feel really good. This one right here is a really awesome detox for the liver and the gallbladder. So if you feel like, oh, maybe you've been doing some snacking, or maybe you've been doing some drinking, um, a little bit harder than kombucha, then this is going to be really good for that cleansing detox. All right, let's take another breath. One more breath here. Good. 
Good. I like to hold it for a little bit just so we really get in those benefits, right? And then we're going to take the right leg that was bent behind and let's just extend it right in front of us. All right. So from here, let's go ahead and just take a fold right over that extended leg. Just folding right over it. All right. And I'm just going to get the camera going so that you could see it even better. All right. So just leg extended, folding right over it. There you go. Good, good. And remember, you know, doing yoga, it's, it's not about going super deep. It's not about, you know, getting that challenge, right? If you want to do that, that's a power yoga. But this one right here is really about settling into right where you are, honoring your body, right? Creating that, those feelings of, wow, you know, I'm doing this. I'm doing a really good job right? I'm doing a really good job. I got this, right? This is more of, let's do that gentle style, right? All right. So what we're going to do is let's take the left hand and reach it for the outer edge of that right extended leg. And let's twist toward the right. You're going to feel this deep stretch in your lower left side. So let's just breathe into that space. Just breathing into it. You got this. Good yogis. One more breath, one more breath right here. Good. And then let's come back up to center. Okay, we're going to take the left hand outside of the left hip. Right hand reaches up. So think of your hand right behind your the one with the bent knee, right? And then let's lift up here, press it up. Reach the fingers behind you. Take that deep stretch, deep stretch. Good. Take a big circle with that arm overhead. Right, a big circle. Good. Feel the back bend. Feel the arm moving, right? Feel that shoulder mobility. Let's take one more breath here. Good. And then let's come and sit right back down. Good. And then we're going to take the a wide-legged stretch. So we're taking this leg, instead of out here, we're bringing it wide, and let's just fold right here. Let's fold right here. All right, good. Just getting into the hips, getting into the back and the glutes, all that good stuff. All right, just folding right down. Let's take a few breaths here. All right, let's take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Let yourself know, wow, I'm doing a really good job today. I'm actually doing an awesome job today. <laughs> right? Let yourself know. Give yourself a pat on the back, right? We can be doing anything. We can be eating our third breakfast today. But no, we are doing yoga, honey, okay? Yeah. And this is so good for digestion, right? Okay, so let's bring that right leg in. We're gonna take the left leg behind us. Okay, and then we're gonna twist toward the right. All right, twisting toward the bent knees, right? Our liver, our liver cleanse. This is where we're going with our liver cleanse right here. So it's really good for the liver and the gallbladder. All right, our liver energetically holds anger. Okay, so when we're, when we're twisting like this, we want to drink a lot of water. And we also want to be really gentle on ourselves. And just be easy about it. Right? If any emotions come up, let that be okay, right? It's okay if whatever comes up, comes up. All right, especially when we're in quarantine, we've got all these emotions that are maybe piling up. We're not able to do a lot of different things, right? But maybe you're going on walks or whatever it is. All right, so let's bring it back to center. And then we're going to take this leg behind us, extend it in front, just going to adjust. And then let's fold forward, folding right over it. Let it go. Let it go right here. All right, beautiful. 
Good, and just breathing into it right here. Just connect with your breath. Right, see if you can tune into your own energy, right? Tune into, oh, how does my body feel as I'm stretching like this? Right, ooh, my body's feeling so much looser already. Wow, this is amazing. Right, even for me, right? My body's already feeling so much better, so much more loose. All right, let's take the right hand to the outer edge of the left leg or the foot, and we're gonna to twist toward the left. Gaze over that left side and just breathe. We might be a little restricted to, to the breath. We might feel, um, you know, the lung capacity a little tight and that's okay, right? That's okay. Let's take another two breaths. Good, and let's come back up to seated. We're gonna take the right hand outside the right hip, left hand reaches up, and then we're pressing up to lift here. Reach it up. Deep breaths. Good, and then take those circles with the arm overhead, right? Big, big circles here. Good, feel how this is really like expanding the heart center. Right, this back bend energetically propels us forward. Right, where do we want to move forward from here? Right, this is almost like we're hitting that global reset button. Right, to a degree. Right, let's come back down. Sorry. And then let's go ahead and come back into seated. And we're going to just extend the legs. Actually, let's not extend the legs. Let's bring the feet together and knees open. This is even better. All right. And then let's go ahead and just fold on down here. Let the body just fold right here. Right, getting into those inner thighs, getting into that low back. Right, you can definitely use your hands to massage out the feet. Right, I know for me that, you know, taking some time to massage out the feet, right, that, that box I was carrying out um, before session started was my foot massager, which has literally been my saving grace, honey. Okay, I love that foot massager. It's, it's, it's like a, a something about a foot massage, right? So if you like, massage around the ankles and then the tops of the feet, that's a lymphatic drain right there, okay? I'm getting around the ankles, maybe even up toward the calves, right? And energetically, our legs are really what step us forward in the direction that we want. So, you know, even, even this releasing this energy right here, we're able to, um, you know, take that step in a clear space, take that step in a clear mind. And maybe that's what we're cultivating today is just a little bit more clarity in what it is that we need to move forward in, right? So that's kind of what I'm feeling intuitively for us today is, okay, how do I want to move forward? What is my next step, right? All right, let's take a deep breath in. As you exhale, come back to seated. We're gonna bring the knees in toward the chest. And then while we're here, let's scoot to the front of the mat. And we're gonna just rock forward and backward along the spine. Right forward and back. And I know this seems silly and I really used to hate doing this. <laughs> like, like I'm not one that likes rocking and rolling on my back, but this is really good for the energy flow. So let's take a few more rounds. All right, good. And then what we're gonna do is let's lay back, let's reach our legs to the sky. All right, good. Good, and let's reach the right hand toward the left toes. 
and then lower down. Left hand to the right toes, then lower down. And let's keep going a few rounds here. All right, we're doing a little bit of this good stuff. Yes, we are. We're getting the whole body in there. So let's keep going for five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring the knees into the chest and let's rock it side to side, left and right. All right, we're going for round two here. Okay, so you can take your forearms underneath your lower back. That's the way I like to do it for more support. If you're feeling really strong, you can reach the arms up overhead. Okay, but let's take our forearms underneath and then we're gonna do, we're gonna just take the legs and let's slowly lower them down. Good, and then let's come right back up. Good, we're gonna do eight more of these, okay? So you got this, let's lower down for eight. And up, seven. You got this, I know you got this, okay? Six. Five. And four. Three. Just two more, just two more, two. And one, good. Let's take a full body stretch, reach the arms up. Take that full body stretch, I'm just gonna move my mat. Actually, I can't. <laughs> All right, so reach the arms up. You can interlace the fingers and flip the palms. And then let's pull the left leg into the body. Give it a nice squeeze. All right, left knee pulls in. Good. And then let's reach the arms up, deep breath in. Exhale, pull your right leg in. Give it a squeeze, yogis, you got this. Feel the energy flowing through the body already, just so powerful. And then right leg extends, reach the arms up. Exhale, left leg pulls in. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right leg pulls in. Let's do a three or four or five more using your breath. Inhale as you reach and exhale as you pull your leg. All right, we're going to take a little bit of autonomous energy with our poses here just kind of moving in a way that feels good for you all right good let's do just two more rounds for your breathing let it be all about the breath good Good, and then let's go ahead and bend both knees. Bring your feet to the mat. All right, realign your spine, readjust. Good, and then right when you're here, let's go ahead and just press your feet into the mat and lift the hips up nice and high. All right, you can interlace the fingers under the back, but let's hold it right here. Okay, think of relaxing the, the neck muscles. Think of relaxing the jaw. Think of relaxing the head and the face. All right, press into all four tires of, of both feet. All right, we're gonna hold it right here for five, four, three, two. Deep inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, slowly slide down, good. Heel toe your feet nice and wide. We're gonna windshield wiper the knees left and right. And let your body just release, relax, right? Take some deep breaths here. When we take those deep breaths, we're really gonna be able to clear any energy, right? Right, I am clear now. I am ready to be clear now. I invite clarity in. Right, I invite, I invite self-love, self-value, self-worth. I invite it in completely right now. 
I invite this good energy into my body, into my hips, into my spine, into my chest, into my arms, and here in my heart, right here. Good. Good, yogis, good. Let's take a happy baby pose. All right, we're gonna reach for the feet, pull the knees in. You can rock side to side. You can hold it right here, or you can even extend one leg at a time or both, getting into that wide-legged stretch. All right, so really good. Let's take this time, let's take a few breaths. Let's take a few breaths. Good. And then this is gonna be a challenge, okay? So I want you to know that it might be a challenge, okay? So we're gonna hold on to the right foot. Drop your left leg down. If you can, you can extend your left leg all the way down. Half happy baby. All right, but let's hold this right here. Keeping this left leg really long to the mat, really extended to the mat. If you like, if you can, you can extend this right leg taking that little stretch right here. That's just for me. I know it's really challenging. I've done this so much that I can do it easier, right? But it wasn't always like that, but now I can't. So don't feel pressure if you, if you, um, if you feel challenged to do it, right? We're working with our bodies right where they are. All right. So let's bring this knee in toward the body, right knee in. And then we're going to take a twist. We're just going to take that right leg over to the left side. All right, just twisting it out. Let's take some breaths here. Really awesome work, Yogi. So far, so good. Right, let's take some time. Now, if you like, you can take this leg and just extend it, getting into the IT band, right? It's a little, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> Right, it might hurt. You know, it, it might not hurt, but it might hurt. And if it hurts, then that's your IT band. <laughs> because the IT band is not a muscle, it's a band, right? It's not a ligament. You're gonna feel it on that, that side of the leg right here. Good, let's bring it back to center. Realign the spine. We're gonna take that happy baby. Okay, and right when you get there, let's drop the right leg down here. All right, half happy baby on this side. All right, just hold it right here. Let's take some deep breaths, all right? Let's go ahead and take a deep breath, inhaling for three, two, one. Pause at the top for three, two, one. Exhale the breath for three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. Inhale the breath, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. Deep breath in, deep breath in. Bring the knee into the chest. And as you exhale, let's twist it out. <sighs> All right, good, good. And maybe take one or two really quality breaths here. Deep quality breaths. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's come back to center. All right, we're gonna rock again, forward and backward along the spine. Forward and back. Good, and then we're gonna either roll to the side or cross the legs, but let's press up into tabletop here. All right. And when you find yourself in your tabletop, Let's take a few rounds of cat-cow. Getting into the spine. 
All right, really good job, everyone. Really good job. Even I feel so good, so amazing, so stretched, so flexy. Good. And then from here, let's go ahead and um, let's take the right leg out. Let's rock forward and backward along the spine. And we're going to flip the left hand to stretch the wrist. Okay, so right leg extends and left hand flips. And we're just rocking forward and backward. That's it. Just stretching into the leg. Good. Let's bring the hand back to center. We're going to lift that right leg up, stack the hip open, and bend the knee. All right. And then let's take some big circles with that leg. We want to get into that hip energy, right? That emotion energy. Good. And then let's drop it back down to tabletop. You can take a round of cat-cow. And then we're going to take the left leg, extend the left leg, flip your right hand. We're going to do the same thing on both sides here. All right, so just rock forward and backward. And if this is a lot on the wrist, all you got to do is take your hand closer toward your leg, and it's a little bit easier. It's a little bit less intense. All right, good. Good. Let's bring the hands back to center. Let's lift the right, the left leg up, stack the hip, bend the knee. Take some big circles with that leg. Good. And then let's go ahead and find that seated position. All right. So we're going to take that seated position and we're just going to do a little bit of that tapping. We're going to do tapping for self love and self acceptance. Okay. And so I'll let you know the points. The points for tapping is you can, you can do this on either hand, whether you're doing this or this but you're taking the this this part of your hand and using your fingers to tap it right here okay so that's where we start and then we go tap top of the head middle of the forehead even around the brow you can do both hands if you like underneath the eye right the cheekbone top of the mouth below the mouth and the chest and underneath the arm. And you can do, like I said, either side is fine, right? Either side, both sides is excellent. All right, so let's start with the back of the hand and taking full responsibility for your well being. Okay, let's take a deep breath in. Good. 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 Take another deep breath in. Good. Right, a lot of emotions coming up in quarantine, a lot of emotions coming up with shelter in place, maybe being put in a lot of different situations, different scenarios, different emotions are coming up. And no matter what's going on, I'm going to completely and fully love and accept myself right where I am. Maybe if any of that self-judgment, maybe any of that judgment that I've had toward myself of, oh, um, you know, I'm not good enough or I'm not doing it right. 
maybe I'm noticing that maybe I've done that before. Maybe I've done that recently. And even though this, this may be the case, I'm going to love, honor, and accept myself right where I am. I'm going to forgive myself for any of the maybe harsh or mistreatment that I've done for my own sake, my own sanity. I'm going to respect myself maybe if I did overeat. I'm going to love and accept myself even if I may have judged myself for whatever reason. Anything that I've done in the past to hurt my own emotion, I'm going to love, accept, and forgive myself right here, right now. Maybe I didn't realize the pain that I was causing myself. Maybe I didn't realize that, that I was causing myself pain by doing this. And I forgive myself for causing myself pain. I'm going to love, honor, and accept this. And I was just trying to do the right thing. I was just trying to hold myself to a higher standard. I was just trying to give myself the motivation. I was trying to give myself the support, not realizing that maybe it was a little harsh and cruel. Maybe it was a little too intense for what I really needed. And maybe I'm really seeing that I could really give myself a little bit more self-love, a little bit more self-appreciation, maybe seeing my value a little bit more, a little bit deeper. And I'm going to love, honor, and accept myself right here, right now. I forgive myself for any of the pain that I've caused myself. It's just something that I learned, right? I, it's something that I, that I learned that I didn't realize that I did. I didn't realize that I gave myself that treatment. That was just something that I was used to. And now that, I'm, now that I see what I've done, I'm going to forgive myself. Uh, maybe I'm not perfect. Maybe, I'm, maybe I haven't done it all perfect or all right. And that's okay. I'm going to love, honor, and accept myself right here. I'm going to accept my body more than I ever have before. I'm going to accept my eating habits more than I ever have before. I'm going to accept me as a human being who is perfectly imperfect and it's all good. Let's take a deep breath in. Maybe I'm not gonna be perfect today or tomorrow or the next day. Maybe I'm going to still, maybe I might fall into any old patterns. And if I do, I'm going to see those right away. I'm going to see those patterns right away. And I'm going to love, honor, and accept myself right here, right now. I'm going to stop myself right in my tracks and say, whoa, wait, is this what a person who loves themselves do? And I'm going to redirect my actions to be more loving to be more kind to myself, to be more considerate to myself, to really ask, what do I need? What are my needs? What is, in, what is important to me today and right now? And I'm going to love and honor the, the answer that comes up deep in my heart, deep in my gut, knowing that I'm valid and worthy of my desire, my need, my want and being treated well and treating myself well and being kind to myself. And I'm gonna love, honor, and accept myself. I accept myself right now more than I ever have before. I'm loving myself more than I ever have before. 
I'm going to deeply respect my needs, my wants, my desires, and be so loving, kind, and gentle more than I ever have before. So let's take a deep breath in. And if something comes up in a way that I can't handle it, I'm just going to pause. And maybe I, maybe I take a moment to think of, oh, how do I wanna handle this? Or maybe I say, hey, I need a moment to figure out what I need to have, how I need to handle this. And then I'm gonna proceed in the most loving way that I can. I'm gonna honor, love, and respect myself starting now, starting today. Let's take a deep breath in. Good, you can bring your hands to your heart, your stomach, or anywhere that feels like it needs some of that extra love and connection. Knowing that I trust that you're gonna do the right thing for you. I trust that you're gonna be self-loving, self-honoring, kind, gentle. Even if you do something that is so bad, I know that you're gonna be gentle with yourself about it. All right, so let's take a deep breath in. Good, settling into this energy, let's take five to eight breaths just in your own space. And settling in this energy of just trusting yourself, trusting yourself, trusting that you got this. Good. And let's bring the palms together right at the center of the chest. Let's take one deep breath in. <sighs> Beautiful work, yogis. Namaste.